what's up my peoples um we're going to work on the background some more now uh we're gonna need some of that And what I'm going to be doing, foist, I know you saw me grab silicone, but first, because, I don't know, silicone be stinky and it's kind of a lot, um, I'm going to try to cover most of it with tinted dry lock. And then whatever I feel like needs extra texture and a little something different, something extra. Um, then I will be using silicone and I'll be pressing uh, a sand into it to kind of match the, the arid deserty vibe. Um, but I figured dry lock will work because I need to retouch the background anyway because I broke it when I was doing stuff. Uh, and then I also got foam, expanding foam all over parts of it that now it looks really messy. Hold on, check this out. Look at this. I gotta repaint it anyway, so I'm gonna do some touch-up painting, um, and then that's where I'm gonna be painting like this, just kind of a basic-y, dirty color, and then I'm gonna add some textural accents with like silicone and sand and whatnot. You'll see, you'll be watching, you're coming along, right? It'll all make sense. make sure it's like a non-toxic safe acrylic um my favorite brand thus far none of these are folk art has been my favorite so far not for really any particular reason i don't know why i have so much craftsmen but they do new mixy 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 <laughs> Criticisms, Pappy? Do you have any thoughts regarding the project? Oh. Start over? I don't know about that. Okay, so maybe you can start to see where I'm going with this. So this, in the back, it's like, is pretty wide. I left a pretty wide gap there of just expanding foam because I have a plan. Because I want to be able to do this. Eh. I want to be able to do that without the collie blizzards being able to get lost behind there because if I just left a straight up gap then it'd be the same problem as last time they'd find their way back there but now -ha -ha -ha, 
they cannot. Okay, I think I'm gonna need some more plants. Okay, tip if you use fake plants. Over time, in the UVB exposure, they may start to become brittle. This guy was used for like two years in the old enclosure, and it's starting to just kind of fall apart. So when it gets to this point, I throw them out, I replace them. If I could keep a menagerie of live plants that are as beautiful as this alive in a setup like this, then I would. But the reality is that most people are not capable of keeping plants like that alive. So we use what we got. Behold. I don't know if I'm done yet, at least with the all that. I might do some later touch-up ones, but you know what's next? Next is silicone. I'm not excited for that. another day another day um now it's time to decorate so we're gonna need So this is all the stuff that we're working with here. We've got some cool driftwood. We've got some cholo wood. We've got spider wood. These are some universal rocks hides. Um, these were from the previous setup. So reusing those. This was her favorite basking spot. That's all the universal rocks. So we're going to reuse that. Um, I did mix in some of her old substrate. Just, I don't know that that's entirely necessary. It's probably not. But it's a thing that hamster people do, right? You mix in some of the old bedding so that they don't stress out or whatever. So just in case it's too new and scary for her, I'm hoping that that little detail and having a lot of the same of the old decor will help her adjust better. So that's what's next. <laughs> So this is what 
I've come up with. I may tweak it just a teeny bit before putting her in, but here we go. So we've got our basking area over here. The heat lamp, it's turned off right now because it was getting very hot working in there, but that'll hit right about here. So she'll have a height under here, a height under here, a height under there. Um, I might need to wiggle wiggle that. Um, we've got the cholo wood, we've got a triceratops skeleton, we've got the spider wood, universal rocks, we've got another hide under here. Um, if and when she's paired up with a male next summer, I will probably turn this into a lay box, so I'll make some quick alterations there. But otherwise, I'm gonna let it air out for a few more days since I was working on it a lot uh, before putting her in and I need to just pop the doors on and then it'll be good to go. But there we have it, folks. Ignore the mess up on that shelf. You know, it's fine. Well, that's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and tune in next time to watch some babies because I just had some collared lizards eggs hatch and they're very cute and this is a really awkward angle that I'm having to stand at to take this shot so okay bye